here we have example nine in the binomial theorem. This is our one of our applications of the binomial theorem. We had a look at the idea of evaluating the powers of real numbers, but this is a bit more interesting. It's actually a, a much more a realistic application because we started off the topic looking at the idea of uh, probability in game theory. And so this is an application of the binomial theorem, which relates to that probability. So first of all, you have to remember that probability uh, is usually expressed as a decimal fraction between the values of zero and one. Probability, if, if it's zero, then something is absolutely impossible. In an event, if the, the probability of something happening is one, then it's absolutely certain. And everything else has this scale from zero to one, depending on the likelihood of it happening. The other thing you need to remember is that if, you, if the probability of something happening is a particular value, like 0 0.7 or 70%, then the probability of it not happening has to be, in this case, 100% minus 70%, 30%. In other words, the probability of events happening and not happening have to add to one because there is a certainty that any event will either happen or not happen. So we can take advantage of all that in order to solve this particular problem. We want to paint the house and we have seven days to paint a house um, and we need five dry days out of the seven to do it. We know that from what it says here, we need to be given some information and we're usually given the one of the probabilities here. The probability of rain each day is 0 0.4. So I can state that in the following, the probability, oops, the probability of rain is 0.4 or 40% chance of rain each day. Which means that the probability that there will be no rain is 1 subtract 0 0.4, which is 0 0.6. In other words, there's a 60% chance that I'll have a dry day. What we can do in the, the binomial theorem is it, the best thing, we could use kind of random letters to represent this. I usually suggest that we give, um, just like when you've done something like simultaneous equations and you're making up uh, equations, choose variable letters or names that are connected to it so it makes sense. So what I'm going to do for the probability of rain, I'll use the letter R. And for the probability of no rain, I'm going to use D for dry. Okay, I'm not going to use N for no rain because we use N in the binomial theorem somewhere. So we're going to use, um, I suppose we use R as well, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get by that. Um, in fact, no, let's, let's use weight. Let's use, let's use W for weight, okay? Because we, in actual fact, we are going to probably use R and N. So we use W for weight, D for drying. That sounds good. So what we can say for sure is that we can uh, investigate this particular binomial construction. W plus D the power 7. Okay, so W plus D we know has to have the value 1. Um, the reason why we're raising it to the, the 7th power is that there's 7 consecutive events each day. Uh, there's, a, there's a probability of something happening. And as you probably know, when we're dealing with uh, probability, if you had, the pr if you're tossing a coin, you see the probability of tossing a, a coin and to get heads is a half. The probability if you toss the coin two times of getting two heads is the probability of it happening the first time multiplied by it happening again, which effectively is a half squared. So for each successive event, we can think of it, uh, the probability being raised to a particular power. So that's why we've got the, the two. If I wanted to toss the coin three times, the probability of three heads would be a half to the power of three. So our seven in the, the power here is an indication that there's seven consecutive events happening. And what we want to do, if we look at the story, is 
we are we need five dry days out of seven to paint the house five dry days out of seven so what that means is that when i expand this w plus d to the power seven i need d i need d to the power five or i need d to the power six or i need d to the power seven because it would be absolutely fine to have six dry days or seven dry days we only need five but we have to in this case consider the fact that um five is the minimum and we don't need to do this but you could probably predict because the total powers of seven what we're really looking for are these terms we're looking for the d squared d, d five, w squared d5 term because we know that the powers have to add up to seven that would be the w to the power one d6 term and that would be just the d7 term on its own we're looking to investigate those three but we don't know what the coefficients are so we're going to have to look at the perhaps the general term and we'll pick out from that so let's see what the general term of w plus d to the power seven n is seven so it's uh, well write out the general term first of all it's n choose r x to the power n minus r and y to the power r so in this particular story n is seven and we've got w to the power seven minus r and we've got d to the power r you see why it's probably good not to use n or r as my uh, probability letters it's just going to get a bit muddled up and so what we want to consider is for five dry days minimum or we could say that the probability of at least five dry days is equal to well we, we've already said here that we want r equal we want d to be five so we want r equals five r equals six or r equals seven okay so for five dry days we want r equals five six or seven so our general term will look like this it'll be seven choose five w to the two and d to the oops i put a seven up that should be r of course um w squared d to the five and for plus uh, seven choose six w which is seven minus six and then we'll get d to the six and then we've also got when r is seven seven choose seven and we've just got d to the power seven so we're talking before about multiplying consecutive events and that's what we've done but remember that if you are satisfied with a couple of different outcomes it's really important then that you can add the probabilities of these outcomes together so we can explore what these different things are here we've got uh, we want to do seven choose uh, five seven choose six or seven choose seven so we have to think about row seven of pascal's triangle and if we do that so think about one seven it goes one seven twenty one thirty five thirty five twenty one seven and one and therefore seven choose five and do the well that is twenty one we've got w squared d to the five plus seven w d to the six and then just plus d to the seven so that's the probability of it happening of course we know what w and d are because we were told that these represent our probabilities so we can then substitute in the probability of a wet day is 0 0.4 and the probability of a dry day is 0 0.6 and if we then go through 
and substitute these in. We end up with these values here. We can then work out uh, individual terms. We can say that uh, 0. Point, well, this first term 21 times 0. 0.4 squared times 0. 0.6 to the power of 5 works out as 0. 0.26127. The second term works out as 0 0.13064 and the third term 0 0.02799 and in total when you add up all those three terms we get 0 0.4199 so the probability of at least five dry days in the week is 0 0.4199 that, of course, is 41.99%, which you could keep exactly, and it's clearly very close to 42%. Uh, so we can just summarize that, and we could say there is a 42% chance of... task being completed. So I've got a number of practice um, questions on this and they're good to do. Um, if you don't have a copy you can uh, you can find it uh, on the website at standrewsacademy.org and they're really good to do as I said I was I say it again this is not a, an exam type question but I think it's a, a very interesting use of it. And as you work through them, you're using the binomial theorem, you're getting practice, and it's a wee bit more interesting than just uh, going through all the kind of practice questions on just expanding a, a, a binomial expression. Okay? Go and practice.